here. What are you doing hiding in the bushes? Greetings. I'm, uh, I'm here saving Katie. She's uh, in there cooking up some scheme to lose you by tomorrow. Now, if she goes off by herself, her chances of survival drop to minus zero. So I need you to go in there and stop her. Okay, okay. I intend to. Great, good. Speaking of intentions, yours better be honorable, buddy boy. Mm -hmm. All right? She's going over there to save her husband, who happens to be a friend of mine. So keep your hands to yourself. And if you try to set him up, I swear I will hire someone to clean your clock. Whatever that means. I thought I heard you out here. Come on in. Did you get the airline tickets? Yeah. Well, can I have them? I don't need tickets, Katie. We've got to pick them up at the airport. Oh. Okay, well, I'll go pick them up early. Are they under your name or mine? When do you talk? Jack, hey, hey, come on in. Do you have news about Simon? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Katie, I'm here to talk with Mike. You two still headed out for Australia in the morning? Yeah, together, right, Katie? Well, I know it's short notice, but uh, the christening is tomorrow. And Carly and I were wondering if you would be willing. Well, I, I pretty much know you'd be willing, but there's a certain protocol with these things. So I... What are you trying to say, Jack? <sighs> would you be Sage's godfather? Of course he will. What an honor you get to be Sage's godfather. The ceremony's tomorrow. Look, I really appreciate it, Jack, but you know we're going to Australia. No, 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 no. I'm going to Australia. You are going to stay here and kiss that baby girl. I'll send you a postcard. Come on, Mike. You can't turn this down. Can I get a minute alone with Jack, please? Whose idea was it for me to be the godfather, you or Carly? Carly. And me, mostly. Mostly Carly. That's what I figured. But, you know, after I thought about it, I realized she was right. There's no better person for the job. I mean, come on, I can't believe i got to convince you. You love this kid. And in your heart, you're already your godfather. We're just talking about making it official. You're serious. It's a serious business. So what do you say? I say hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Jack. You're not going to kiss me, are you? Because I would be... Not unless you shave first. Oof. No, look, I, I I don't think you know how much this means to me, Jack. Yeah, I think... I think I do. Safe trip, Katie. Good luck. So you're gonna do it? Yes. Do I get to call you Godfather? No, you better not. Look, um... I know you're hard to get to Australia, but the ceremony's in the morning, all right? And even if we get to later flight, we'll, we'll still make the connection in Chicago. No, no, no. Um, tomorrow's going to be an incredible day for you. And I don't want you to have to rush off and leave early. I want you to enjoy every minute. I have found Simon before on my own, and I can do it again. All right, it is going to be incredible, but it, it's also going to be very hard. Why? I mean, I'm grateful to play this part in Sage's life. I really am. But, but in some ways, it's just going to make me realize what I've lost. You know, seeing Jack and Carly holding Sage... I'm just going to be trying hard not to think about what might have been. I'm going to need some help with this, okay? Your help. I don't want to hurt you. Then come with me to the christening tomorrow. Okay. And take lots of pictures of me holding Sage. I will take a ton of pictures. Promise? Promise. Good. Look, all right, here's what we'll do. We'll uh, bring our bags to the church, and as soon as we're done, we'll bolt to the airport. You know what I like about you? My lasagna? Yeah, but mostly that when you make a promise, you keep it. See you tomorrow? Yeah. I'll be there. Uh, for about five minutes. And then while you're playing Godfather... I'll get a head start to the airport.